your local election headquarters. Early voting is less than two weeks away and you will find almost a dozen propositions on your ballot, including the most talked about, the climate charter, but you might be less familiar with some of the others. That's right, KTSM 9 News reporter Carla Draxer joins us live to break it all down for us. Carla, what are these other propositions? What are they all about? Andy and Natasia, when you see those 11 propositions during this election in May, it might be a little bit overwhelming and even a bit confusing. Some of those are quite complex, but I talked to a city official who explained to me what you should know about some of these, uh, some of these propositions before you cast your ballot. Take a look. Several of these propositions are very complex. You will see 11 propositions on your ballot to amend the city charter and some harder to understand. Proposition A, you get to decide if you agree for each city council representative to be able to hire employees for their district. As the city grows, the demand on the council members offices does grow as well. And so it gives them that flexibility to be able to hire folks that they need to hire. This amendment would mean more flexibility for the reps to hire, but they would still need to stick to the budget. Proposition B, the city's properties are now leased through ordinances, but this proposition would allow leasing through resolutions. And a resolution would allow only to be coming forward to the city council once instead of twice. Which would make the leasing process quicker for the city council to approve the lease, but public comment is still allowed. Now moving to Proposition F, this one talks about petitioning for an ordinance to be put in place. If it passes, it would allow city council to amend the proposed ordinance. And if both parties agree, it could move forward immediately. And then they don't have to go back out and get a second round of signatures. They can move forward, it becomes an ordinance, and there is no need to go out to a ballot. But if the council does not approve or the petitioner does not agree with amendments, the ordinance is put on the ballot. Right now, these ordinances are voted on only during general city election. With Proposition F, the ordinances would be voted on in special election, putting a financial burden on the city. If a petition were to be brought forward, it is likely that it would be during an off cycle period, which would mean that there would be a cost associated with it to the city. So the last several ballot um, elections have cost between 650,000 to a million dollars. Now the city will host public meetings on those propositions where you can ask questions until April 20th. You can find all that along with the propositions on the city's website. Uh, but just a reminder, early voting starts April 24th until May 2nd and election day is May 6th. Reporting in downtown El Paso, I'm Carla Draxler. Back to you.